Hello Kay and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the location, I'm not in my usual sort of sit down, um, backdrop and set up. Today I wanted to do a fashion video and I just felt it was more appropriate to stand up and do it like this because I'm actually going to be showing you like my coats and jackets of the season. So the coats and jackets that I go to on an everyday basis or the just in general the coats and jackets that I'm loving because there are so many. So obviously I don't wear these every day and on an every everyday basis but there are a few that I pick more than others and yeah I just wanted to run through and run down my favourite jackets and coats that I'm loving now because I thought it was quite appropriate seeing as the weather is getting colder now and you might be starting to invest in some warm coats and jackets for the months ahead. So without further ado I'm going to jump straight into it and not ramble. I'm going to try and divide them into sort of styles I think. Um, and yeah, if you want to see my coats and jackets then please continue watching. Okay, so I thought I would start with the one that I'm actually wearing because since I have brought this, I have honestly been obsessed with it. Like, I feel that it is such a staple for your wardrobe, it's such an easy style to wear, it's very classic style. With it being black as well, it's one of those things that just literally goes with everything. Um, this was actually from H&M. Pretty Little Thing also do one very, very similar, which I do actually have a 30% discount code, which I will leave in the description bar below. But yeah, this coat is such good quality as well. Like, I can't even tell you how nice it is. It's got such a heavy weight to it. Um, it's lined with this, like, faux fur fabric. And I just... I just love it, honestly, there's like nothing I don't like about this, obviously you know me, I like to wear my jackets like this, um, but let me just pop it on for you as well so you can see. I honestly just feel like this is a style that never really goes out of fashion, every year these aviator jackets are always always in, they are never not really something that I would go, oh my god I'm not wearing that this season, that's so out, I just think it's a very classic shape, so yeah you can't go wrong, it's so warm and cosy as well, so I really do like this, this next jacket is more of like a biker jacket, similar style to the aviator, but they're normally just a bit like shorter in length, um, I absolutely love this one, it just adds something a little bit different to my wardrobe, because you know if I could I'd wear black and grey every day, maybe a little bit of like beige probably popped in there, but this to me is more like a camel sort of like toffee colour, um, it's not normally something I actually go for if I'm really really honest. As you probably noticed I've worn an all black outfit today just so that when I do try these coats on they do hopefully go uh, with what I'm wearing rather than me having to change my outfit every single try on. Yeah, this jacket is just so so beautiful again in a gorgeous faux suede fabric, I absolutely love the sort of fur detail on the collar and the um, <laughs> and the arm when I can think of what I'm trying to say yeah it's just a really really nice little jacket just to like chuck on obviously it's not the most warmest jacket so it's not going to keep you like warm when it's in the minus temperatures outside but it's definitely like a nice little classic one just to wear in the daytime if it's not too cold and um, it looks great teamed with black it would also look great with like a light beige knit underneath and then like a pair of black trousers that could totally work um, but yeah I just really like this little addition to my wardrobe and it's actually from Parisian Wholesale so I I don't know if you know who Prison Wholesale are, but they're basically a wholesale brand. And a lot of our favourite online e-commerce stores actually stock Parisian Wholesale. Um, so yeah, that's where this is from. <laughs> okay, so the next jacket and coat I'm going to be speaking about, which is one that I'm sure you have seen a hundred million times on my Instagram page already, and just in videos, because it honestly is like my go-to one right now, is this black faux fair one. It is from Primark, it was £30 and honestly I'm so glad I brought it because I very very nearly didn't, I don't know why I just thought oh I don't really need it because I do have loads of coats but I'm so glad I did because it's one that I reach to every single day, it's just so easy just to chuck on, as you can see now it just goes with this outfit and I think why I like it as well is because it is so comfy, cosy and warm and it really is a nice quality for the price so I really think with this one you can't go wrong, if you're on a budget you're looking for a nice coat that's going to keep you warm, really nice style and um, you know it's, I think it's got that sort of like fashionista edge to it then this one honestly it will not fail you. Yeah, I really like this sort of faux fur detail on it as well, it's sort of like a rippled effect. I think with some faux furs they can look on the cheap side, I think if the quality of the faux fur is cheap, 
that tends to make it look cheap but also the sort of style of it um, can make it look cheap there's one. but yeah um, I really really like this thing with a black faux fur jacket you can never really go wrong this is definitely a fave in my wardrobe at the moment okay so the next fur coat the, my god this one is just amazing this is quite a newbie in my wardrobe and it's from Miss Pap I very kindly did get sent this one and honestly now I know the quality of it I would have totally brought it if prior to this I knew the quality do you get what I'm saying like I would have never expected in a million years this sort of quality from Miss Pap like I know it's from the premium collection but oh my god this is honestly high end top notch quality like even my mum picked this coat up and was like oh my god it's so heavy like that's amazing quality like how much was that um so yeah like i always feel like when you pick a coat up and it's heavy you know it's good quality like this is a heavy coat but at the same time it's amazingly soft it's really thick it's really warm so this one obviously in comparison to my other faux fur coat because obviously you're going to be thinking oh my god you've got two black faux fur coats like is there any need this one is obviously longer in length personally obviously i think it's better quality than the primark one and um, it's just got a plain faux fur to it rather than like a textured faux fur and um, which i think is really nice as well you know just adds obviously a little bit of differentiation it's also got these big like pockets here which I just really like those on that honestly it's so soft it's like do you know when I'm wearing this I can never stop like touching it just because it's so so soft it's beautiful if you are looking for a coat that you want to ensure you are warm in the winter months you honestly need to get this one because not only will it last you because the quality is amazing I feel like it will really really keep you snugly and warm as well and again I just feel like with these very fur ones I feel super like fashionable when I wear these you know I'm not trying to like blame my own trumpet or anything but I just feel like whenever I wear faux fur coats I just feel like I'm on a film set working for like a high fashion magazine and like I don't know okay shut up Laura <laughs> but you know what I mean so yeah I really really like this so the next style of coat is borderline faux fur but for most people they will call it like the teddy coat um because it's in this more of like a Teddy fabric, I guess. Um, but yeah, so again, this one is from Miss Pap. It's also a recent one. It's from their luxury collection. And you know what? I really, really love this one as well. I know I keep saying that about every single coat I own, but I like this one because it's grey. And as you know, my main colour is black. That's my main colour of choice. I always like to go just for the black because it's very safe. But I also feel like grey goes so nice with outfits. And I normally wouldn't really tend to go for a grey coat. It's my coat of choice for the season. But I definitely think it's a nice addition to have in your wardrobe, a grey coat, just because, like I said, it's still, it's really easy to team with outfits, it's really easy to just chuck on with an all black outfit, and um, you could even team it with pops of colour. I just feel like grey is still a very easy option and something that you can style quite easily. So I like that it's a bit long, um, I really like the length of it, um, I do have to be careful with some coats, just because I am so small, like, I think a lot of people actually forget that I'm only like five foot three, so if you know some of the longer coats, I have have to watch because I end up looking like a drowned rat and um, but yeah this is just a really really nice length it's not obviously like a maxi length but it's sort of like a midi length and um, it looks really nice okay so the next coat on my rail is this sort of teddy whatever you want to call it faux fur fluffy coat and um, it's in this gorgeous sort of like a beigey what color is it i'd say like a nice beige color um i wanted something a little bit different because like i said i've got black i've got gray so that's why i opted for this this is a recent purchase i brought this from h&m not so long ago like a week ago um i got it in a size small just for your reference yeah this one does come up quite oversized and big for me i'm only normally like a six to an eight um so yeah it just let me just try it on as well so you can see i mean it doesn't it doesn't look like massive yeah it does look massive <laughs> who am i kidding so this is what it looks like on as you can see when i actually put this one on i feel like it's too big for me like i feel just like it drowns me everywhere um so that's why like with this one in particular i only really wear it like this i just sort of like wear it off my shoulders you know anyway i sort of like always wear my coats and jackets off the shoulders unless it gets super super cold i'm like okay i'm gonna have to pop it on now um but yeah, like I think you can totally rock it oversized off the shoulders. But yeah, again, it's a really nice quality and I really like this. H&M have done good. Okay, so the next coat we're moving on to is this gorgeous grey one. It's again a new in from H&M. Do you know what? H&M, I feel like, always kill it with the coats. If you were ever looking for a new coat for your wardrobe, honestly, just go on H&M because I feel like 
they really have a good selection and variation of different coats. Um, this one is admittedly a thin coat, it's not a massively thick coat, it's in a sort of like wool fabric which is really really nice, like a felted wool I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, I just really like this shape of this coat, I feel like it's a really really classy coat. Um, I love the like light grey of it, I don't own well, other than my fluffy one, I don't really own a lot of light grey in my wardrobe. So I just think it adds a nice differentiation. Differentiation. I feel like it adds a nice differentiation. I can't say it. I feel like it's really different, and it just is something different in my wardrobe. I particularly love that like, the pockets on the side. I think that adds like a really nice vibe to it. Um, yeah, I just really like it. Like, there's nothing else to say. I just really, really like this one. Like I said, it isn't the warmest, so you might want a team probably a jumper underneath this one. Okay, so the next coat I'm moving on to is a trench coat. Trench coats are so classic. They're just like an ultimate classic coat in your wardrobe. Admittedly, I've never really been a massive, massive fan of trench coats. Um, I don't know what it is. I've just never really been drawn to them as much as other styles of coats, I think. Um, but this season I thought I'd give one a go. And this is the Prince of Wales check that you've probably seen everywhere. It's been quite popular and on trend this season. This is from Mrs... Mrs. Guided, misguided even. Um, I feel like it's really like a classic trench coat. I feel like it's quite smart, it's quite st stylish, it's quite sophisticated. It isn't one that I have been going to like, I'll admit. Um, since I've got it, I don't even think I've actually worn it. Because like I said, I think when something's a bit more out of your comfort zone and not particularly like you, I don't know, I feel like you don't reach for it. I feel like you always reach for the comfortable and most, like, easiest option. So I feel like I need to grab for this more because I do actually really, really like it. It's a really, really nice style. I really like the detailing on it. It's got some really nice buttons. It's got, like, a really nice details on the side. It's also got, like, a tie around the waist. I just feel like this really is, like, a nice, clean look. Classic, um, stylish, but, like, a little bit smarter. Like, if you want a little bit of a smarter edge, this will be perfect to add to your outfit. Um, again, with trench coats, they're not the thickest coat in the world, so definitely one for when it's not as cold. But, yeah, I feel like they are really nice, though, and I do like the style, so I do need to try it and get into wearing this one a little bit more. Um, I also like the fact that it's a print because... As you can see with all my other coats and jackets, they're just sort of like plain and not prints. Um, so yeah, really, really do like this one. Need to start wearing it a little bit more though. So the next jacket is, again, another new one, admittedly. I have been spending a bit of money on upgrading my coat and jacket collection just lately. Some of them I get sent for free, um, some of them I don't. It's just how it is. Um, but yeah, this one, again, is another number from H&M. I absolutely love this one. You know that whenever I try a, like a black jacket on, it always happens to be one of my favourites. I think it's just the colour. I just love it. Just feel like it's so clean, smart, classy. Uh, it just goes with everything. I just find it so easy to style, and I just like black. Like I just like the colour. I just think it's always quite slimming, and yeah, it always looks quite classy as well. I think. And um, yeah, this is sort of like a black. I'm gonna say it's like a blazery look one. It's really tailored, um, and I love the sleeves especially. It's got these two sort of like gold um, buttons on, which I just feel like it adds a little bit of expensive element to it. Just feel like it looks makes it look quite classy. Um, again, it's not the thickest of jackets, um, but it's a really nice one just to pop on your shoulders. Um, I feel like it just makes any outfit look a little bit more dressy um, because it is quite, I would say it is more of a dressier jacket than some of my others that I have featured. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one. Okay, so the next jacket in my autumn winter collection is this camo one. I can't believe I ever got rid of my camo jacket that I had last season. I thought after it sort of the trend finished last season or was it the season before, I don't know, I got rid of it because I was like, oh, it's old now, I'm not going to wear it again, camo so out. Well, it's come back around and it's on trend, it's bigger than ever this season, and yeah, it's just absolutely everywhere at the moment. Um, so I had to get myself another one because I've been seeing a few fashion bloggers wear them and style them, and I've been obsessed with them looks. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get myself another one. This one was only from H&M again. As you can see, I have got a little bit of a thing with H&M jackets. Um, it was really affordable. I leave the price and. Um, where it's from and the link in the description bar below if you want to check it out but yeah I really really like this one I really like in particular the buttons on it and um, it's just got some really nice circle buttons that I just I don't know I just really like that to it I love the pockets as well I think it gives it that really like army military vibe which obviously goes with the jacket Um, yeah again it's something that I especially feel looks good teamed with black 
I know I keep saying everything glows with black. That's how I am styling things at the moment. I think because it's getting obviously darker and colder. Black always seems to be that one colour that I'm drawn to at this time of year. Um, I do mix it up. You guys know I have been chucking red in my wardrobe. So I'm not totally like just loving like the colour black at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like this. I'm honestly like, it's just, I love it. Um, it's obviously, like I said, it is thin. But you can brave the cold for fashion, can't you? So yeah, I feel like it's just a really, really nice piece to add if you're looking for a print. And yeah, this print is definitely really on trend right now. Okay, so the last coat that has been making quite a big appearance in my wardrobe at the moment, surprisingly actually, because, I don't know, this isn't something that is normally probably my, well it is my style because I do really like it, but it isn't normally something I'd go for, but I got sent it by Chris Clovin, and honestly, I have been wearing this non-stop, I feel like that's really annoying me, I feel like it's just something really, really easy to chuck on, something easy just to team with anything, and it's so warm and snuggly, honestly, like, I adore snuggly coats, and this is definitely one of those, um, I've been chucking this on, like, when I go to the gym in the mornings, um, like I said, it's just one of them snuggly, really easy to chuck on coats, you know, when you just want to grab a coat and run out the door, I feel like this is definitely that one, um, yeah, it's really flattering as well i feel like because it's got like this sort of it sort of like goes in at the waist almost um I, so i feel like it's quite a flattering coat as well it's quite fitted um yeah really snuggly like i've already mentioned it's got like this faux fur um detailing here it did actually have a faux fur collar um attached to it but i took that off just because i felt that made it look a little bit i don't know it was okay but i just i don't know i took mine off because i didn't particularly like it it has got a hood as well. I just feel that this one is like a really simple everyday one that you can add to your wardrobe and just chuck on. Really convenient, really easy. And again, I still feel like it looks really stylish because these are so on trend at the moment. They're like everywhere. I've seen them in every single colour on every single website. So yeah, really do, really do like this one. And I've actually been wearing this one on rather than like on my shoulders, which I know it's going to be like a massive shock to you guys because you know... I hardly ever wear my coats properly. That brings us to the end of my autumn winter coat collection. I feel like there's hardly any space in my room right now. This is what happens when you've got so much stuff and you've only got a small room. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is my rail. This is all the coats that I featured. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this video and something a little bit different because I want to start mixing it up a bit now and doing a few more sort of fashion, styling videos as opposed to just hauls. And we will obviously still be doing hauls because you know how much I love a good haul video. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed seeing my coat collection. Gave you a little bit of an insight. Might have helped you out with picking your winter coat. Please let me know if this has been useful and give me a comment in the box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.